We're in, we're in, that's a squeeze. Not a lot of room there. So, welcome. We are about to disembark from the ferry. I'm gonna take this coat off now because I don't need a coat on when I'm driving. I'm on, I'm not gonna tell you where I am. If you haven't seen the last video, you should be checking that one out first. <laughs> I'm gonna take you to a, a beach, a famous beach, very, very famous beach actually. Um, that's the plan. See you there. is an amazing place to see uh, I have been over here before and if you haven't guessed already I'm on Harrison Lewis uh, where else would I be <laughs> um, yeah no this is a fantastic couple of little islands um, I have got a couple of really nice locations to take you to uh, in the next video or two and uh, yes we're basically heading towards Luskentire Beach um, I couldn't hold out any longer to tell you and that's the plan. I'm with Andrew. Andrew's following me behind. Tomorrow morning on the 10 o'clock, half 10 ferry, I've got two more people come over, Mr. Steve Hargrave, who I've been out with before, or Hargate, and uh, also another guy I've never met before, Ian. I put these things out on my Facebook groups. Um, I've got the Landscape Vlogtography Adventures Facebook, face, Facebook? Facebook group, and uh, that's where I put out my trips, and I organize these sort of things throughout the year, different locations, Peak District, Lake District, Scotland, and you name it, I do it. I've also done the Faroe Islands recently, which I'm sure you've already seen my videos as well. And again, if you wanna join us for any trip, especially the ones abroad, please let me know your name and I can put your name down on a list. And then when I put the, put the holidays out or put the interest out, I'll uh, let you know and then get the uh, feedback from you. But yeah, we are heading towards Luskentire Beach. I can see the beach way off in the distance uh, or part of it, and uh, we've got another three and a half miles to go, and then we should have some pretty nice photography coming. Um, a little bit of beach texture, and maybe a few, I don't know, starfish and stripes and sands. The beach is renowned for its black sand through the white sand. So uh, let's so let's hope we can find something and uh, kick this video off with something really nice and interesting. So see you in a minute when we're there. We won't be long. Oh, interesting. We've got a little drop of water to walk through. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Never mind. This is what you say about the, see what I said about the black sands in the white sands? This is the sort of thing I'm looking. It sort of, it's almost looks like dinosaur skin down there. Uh, especially that bit there. See like the little dinosaur scales as it goes through the water. So that's the sort of thing I'm hoping to find down here. There's obviously water down that pathway because we've had quite a lot of rain of late. So the other thing this beach is very famous for, are these uh, sand dunes and these, I don't know, marron grasses, whatever they're called, uh, that sort of wisp across over to the beaches. And then you've got these nice hillside mountains across the backside as well. So that's what gives it this really dramatic, nice feel. But I'm gonna start off just walking along the edge of this stream and go down to the water's edge, just to see if I can see some patterns that I can get a shot of, because I need to try and find some untrodden areas, if that makes sense. So this is the bit, this is the bit I actually find easy, trying to find a photograph. Now the camera's come out, it's on the capture clip, which just makes it very easy for me to do handheld shots. And I've said this many times, it's got that easy now that the camera's with the image stabiliser. You really don't need to, to stress yourself too much about having a tripod. You can actually handheld quite nicely. Just pick your ISO up a little bit maybe, um, but with the image stabiliser on, you manage to get some pretty tasty looking shots. And what I'm doing is I'm looking along this edge because this is the clean edge where people aren't stepped. So I'm getting this 
patterns in the sand and this sharp edge of sand to just sort of give you a bit of diagonal, a bit of contrast between the two. And just zooming in, zooming out until I find something I like, focus on it, hold my breath and take a shot. I found a nice little bit down here um, and again just being careful where I'm treading but we've got a nice little pattern in the nice little patterns where it's leaving the the black sand over the top so I'm just really looking there's another one there it's just like this big mottled effect of mottled effect of um, sand patterns but because it's because it's not all yellow sand it's got these black streaks to it it's actually making it look like scales it looks really cool it looks really really cool so down here i found a particularly nice bit You've got this real sweep coming around and that looks pretty cool with that sunlight in the background actually. Let's just see if I can just get a shot of that before I do anything else. Just try a bit of a rush shot. Just see if I can get a shot of this sweeping curve, this line and the polarizer. That's actually really cool. Bit of seaweed in the bottom corner. Got that sweeping curve. There's a couple of people down there at the bottom as well. Just giving a little bit of a texture detail. But yeah, I like that. But this down here, the patterns in the rocks down here are absolutely fantastic. And the polarizer is really popping through the uh, the glare of the water, uh, and I just really, really do like these patterns. Turning the camera a different way round, just just sort of shape it, just to try and see what it fits better. But yeah, really nice, very sort of arty farty sort of style images. But yeah, I like it. I like the patterns. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the video on for you on my camera so I can actually show you what it is that I'm seeing uh, through the lens. Uh, it's quite cool. So this is pretty much, you can see these patterns that I'm looking for. And when I see something I like, sort of, sort of like that, I sort of get myself in the position and just take the shot. And then I move myself around. I'll have a look and see whether I like anything that's sort of catching my eye. There's a so you've got this line of the, the beach there, so let's zoom out. We've got the line of the beach, diagonal line coming through. Maybe we can add a bit of the sand on the edge like that. Focus, take the shot. And yeah, just, and just keep taking photos. It looks pretty awesome, to be honest. So yeah, just keep moving around, moving around. We've got the lines of the beach, we've got the sand, we've got the patterns. There's all sorts. You can see through the lens, it looks really good. We can zoom in, we can get a bit closer to them. And they just look really, really, really cool in the camera. I'm easily pleased and I really, to be honest. seen another interesting pattern just down here over here so let me just spin you around a little bit see if you can uh, follow me over when I take the picture uh, this has got a slightly different pattern I can't go too close to the edge because the edge I just stood on it just now and I, it collapsed 
um, but there's another interesting very interesting pattern here there's like a stripe of the sand and what I want to try and do is is use that stripe as a diagonal uh, just because the pattern changes it just adds something a little bit different to it and it's got like streaks to it and what I'm going to do as well I'm going to go down there and try and get that pattern as well as a and what I'm doing yeah just get that pattern as the main image and I'm just spinning the camera around to try and see which way around I think the, the lens works best but yeah I do like this it, it proper looks like scales really does I hope it looks the same when I process the images afterwards I really do but yeah I need to go down the, the low bit because I've already slipped once so I found a really nice one down here I don't know if you can see me on camera you can probably see my feet We've got some really nice ones down here. These look like little fans. And I'm just gonna maybe bump the ISO up a little bit so I'll make sure I'm guaranteed to handheld it. But yeah, they look pretty cool down there. to the, the sand level and uh, let's go for a walk down to the end of this torrent where the tide's coming in and out because I'm I'm assuming you're going to get a little bit more something going on there if I can get up here without it collapsing there we go so yeah let's uh, let's try that Andrew's filling his boots as well he's having a he's having a go he's having a do but yeah let's see if where the tide's coming in and out there should be some amazing streaks there maybe even get a little bit of water wash so you've got to see this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the polarizer off you've got to have a look at what i've, I've just seen it doesn't take a photograph but for you to see it i think it looks it looks fantastic it's like a fan and a fan of sand moving really cool but i'm going to need the polarizer to hold it on the front of you so i can show you but yeah let's, let's just, just step down this little step and i'll uh, show you what it is i can see but first of all i've just got to curiously or whatever the word is get onto this little ledge and stand in the position i was and then i'm going to zoom the camera around and uh, just bear with me a moment until I get you ready and I'll show you what it is we can see. So we've got this little pool of water down here and this little pool of water is sort of splashing around but just up from that little pool of water, just about there, if I zoom in, I think that's in the right place. Can you see those stripes? And I'm gonna put the polarizer on the front now and you can see, but as I turn the polarizer, it makes them stripes stand out. But can you see how those streaks are gradually moving? Let's see if I'm going a bit closer for you. Just watch those streaks. And hopefully you'll be able to see all the little patterns moving up the sand rolling through it looks really cool and i can just stand here and watch that because it's like one of those um sand things you used to get at the at your local store with the patterns in it how cool is that But yeah, I'm still playing with these sand patterns, uh, still looking at these sand patterns, still trying to see if there's something. The tide's now rolling in around my feet around this way, so I should be able to try and find a few more. What I might have to do is put the wide angle lens on, but there's definitely something going on in the sand now. If you look down here, along here, there's definitely patterns in this water line. So we're just gonna try and keep an eye on it, see if we can find a few without putting my footsteps in. And I wanna get a bit of the background and a bit of sand at the same time. what I need is a wide angle lens on so I'm gonna to have to change it over now what I'm gonna do is put my lens cap on keep my bag strap attached to me so I don't put my bag down in the sand and I know I've got this yellow cover on it but it just saves having all the sand in your van you know what I mean I think these stripes definitely need a wide angle lens on I want to find a few more images before I go back to the van and call it a tray you know a few more images here before I call it a day uh, I've got some more patterns in the beach. Just with a wide angle lens, it look a bit different. I've just got to watch the water though, because it's coming up around me and it's trying to catch me out a little bit. But 
I can get some of these patterns in the beach. Some of these little patterns in the sand I quite like, like down here. I like this with the mountains in the background. I think they look quite nice. Just holding the camera, focusing on them, using the waves and the wash. See, it's coming in around me this side over here, so I've just got to watch it before I end up in a puddle full of water and wet boots. <laughs> but yeah, these are really nice patterns. Really cool. What's really fascinating is I've just been stood there on that same hot spot for about five minutes because every time the tide comes in and rolls back out again it leaves a different pattern. It's absolutely amazing to watch. I couldn't film it because obviously I can't leave the camera there but literally every time you see these patterns here and every time the tide comes in and washes it it just washes a new bit of sand over the top and just gives you a completely different pattern and a different shape. It just looks so amazing to watch. Very fascinating. And I'm getting a bit of sky in the background as well, but I do have to watch that water because it is trying to catch me out. I think the tide's going out though, so I might be all right. What I'm trying to do, if I can get it, is I just want to try and get a water breaking in the background because I think that just adds a little bit more something. Just to get a bit of a break, rather than it being a white line, it's nice to have that bit of a frothy line. Yeah, fantastic. I'm getting nice and close. That looks awesome. Oh yes, I like this stuff. We've got a break in water. I've got my eyes on. There we go. A little bit of break. Keeping my eye on this water level because it'll come and get me if I'm not careful. Keep focusing on the foreground, using all the patterns and the textures. Yeah, I'm enjoying that. <laughs> So this is a very dramatic beach. I think I'm going to call it there. I'm going to walk back to the van because it's getting chilly and uh, I don't want to carry on this video all down here. And I think it's going to start raining as well. We've got another location to get to. Probably won't do any photographs this evening. If I do, I'll switch you back on. But if not, I'll see you in the morning. And uh, yeah, that's been a fun, a fun little half an hour to our little introduction to Harrison Lewis, the infamous, famous Luskentire Beach. What a beauty, what an absolute stunning beach this is. I could spend hours and hours and hours playing with that sand. Love it. And I haven't even shot the, the marron grass. Look, it's up here as well, even in this, oh, it's everywhere. Right, I'm going back to the van, if I can find my way back through the dunes. That's where I've got to go. Oh my goodness. Well, good morning. Uh, yeah, that was a quick switch over from last night's um, nice beach scenery um i have spent a night of <laughs> sheer no i'm not gonna say terror the van has been rocking it's been shaking the rain has been banging against the window all night and on the roof it has been